the celebrity church with a rock and roll vibe, but has Hillsong strayed from its Christian values as it increasingly seeks fame? Steve Marshall investigates allegations of slave labor, threats, and inappropriate behavior within the church. They try any avenue and any slimy way of really stopping you from talking or stopping you from, you know, exposing what they're about. People will tell you if you get mightily blessed. Houston, you might have a problem. Brian Houston's got a very big problem on his hands right now because it's like the dams have burst. Sometimes Brian Houston has led his one-time backyard Hillsong Church to become the most influential Christian brand in the world. But behind the slick sermons and pumped-up productions, stunning allegations from former attendees. I think my time there was cold life because if you don't do what they say, they ostracise you. They, you lose all your friends, you lose all your family. Explosive accusations of slave labour, humiliating auditions, threats to cancel student visas, inappropriate behaviour by pastors with a fascination for fame. And they're on the videos saying how amazing I was and how much they loved me. This is the group of people who support you. This is the group of people who love you. This is as soon as I got the kick, I was nothing to anybody. Yolandi Bosch claims Hillsong has lost its soul. In 2012, she was a successful documentary maker living in South Africa. She claims travelling Hillsong leaders enticed her to enrol in the church's Christian college in Sydney and help people through her filmmaking. Yolandi was excited. She paid $4,000 to enrol and Hillsong sponsored her student visa. What did you end up doing? I ended up cleaning toilets. <laughs> so I ended up um, doing all the dirty work for them. Yolandi says she was ordered to dye her hair blonde to conform and take part in singing auditions where she was judged on her look and sound. I was told that um, I have issues, I've got psychological issues um, for bringing this up because I don't understand how Christianity works and how the church works. When she complained, Yolandi claims leaders threatened to cancel her student visa. I think my visa status was probably threatened three or four times, um, and that would mean my visa would get cancelled and immigration would take me and I would go home. Yolandi also recalls witnessing inappropriate behaviour by one senior church pastor. He used to massage the girls' backs quite a lot, and he would go and he'd be like, oh, I'm just doing this as your friend, are you stressed? And it made me feel very uncomfortable. Yolandi believes Brian Houston and his wife, Bobby, have an alternative motive for the church. Their real vision and mission has always been to attract celebrities. We'll see Bobby Houston reach out even to the royal family, or even to Meghan Merkel. That's why I just we want to love came. people more. I just want to love Carl more. When wayward pop icon Justin Bieber found a shoulder to lean on in Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz, the church's reputation soared. So did that of Lentz, Brian Houston's golden boy and the boss of Hillsong's New York chapter. The purpose of Jesus saving your life is because without him you were dead in your sin. Endorsed by the Kardashians and a guest of Oprah, Lentz wasn't only in a different hemisphere, he commanded another stratosphere. Lord, I pray for fresh fire in this room. I pray for fresh grace in this room, Lord. May people write songs that you can, you can literally see lives change. But two months ago, Lynn suffered a spectacular fall from grace, sacked for cheating on his wife with exotic fashion designer Renine Karim. When you give somebody so much power, they become God to people. By Carl leaving like that, it, it allowed so many people to speak. And so many people have since come forward to say, this is what's really been going on for us. Hillsong historian and critic Tanya Levin says, Lens's sacking has exposed a bigger broken system inside the church. In his own way, Carl was, was groomed and exploited by the church too. He was only 21 or so when he turned up to Bible college and they found him a wife and sent him off on, uh, you know, a mission to make the big boss happy. And he followed the same formula, 
because the church is based on being predatory, based on grooming people, making all kinds of promises surrounding a vulnerable person with all the things they've ever wanted to hear. Miss Levin joined Hillsong in 1985 when it boasted just 300 members. She left after six years and now it's a global brand. The church's mission statement, bold and clear, to reach and influence the world. Brian Houston had a, a, a really visionary approach. So it's about numbers and influence and they've certainly achieved that. From hipster streetwear and tattooed look to Grammy Award winning bands. Hillsong's music is their absolute tool to hypnotise, to, dr to draw you in, to put you in a good mood so that you'll be open to suggestion for when they say reach down into your pocket and give to us. It's completely deliberate. Almost nothing to do with worship and almost everything to do with prepping people. Hillsong is literally the stuff miracles are made of, in a financial sense anyhow. It's now a hundred million dollar tax-free global megachurch. Congregations on six continents with an average attendance of 150,000 people every week, including on some occasions our very own Prime Minister. This country needs more love, less judgment. Houston and his church have managed to weather several controversies over the years, from a fluid stance on gay marriage to allegations Houston failed to report his father Frank's history of sexually abusing children. But the sensational dismissal of rock star preacher Carl Lentz has brought a new level of scrutiny upon the church, according to Tanya Levin. Oh, they're in complete disarray and you know, there are so many victims coming out of New York now, just, just starting to talk. They're starting to talk about lawsuits and, you know, to pay for the psychiatrists they've had to see and the counsellors they've needed and to deal with the PTSD they've experienced. Um, you know, all kinds of losses that Americans will pursue in a way that, you know, Australians don't necessarily foresee. Tanya Levin wrote a book about her experience. Yolandi Bosch was left deeply traumatised. My experience is not a lie. My experience really happened and their experience really happened and somebody's got to stop this. Tanya Levin and Yolandi Bosch hope their own words might in some way trigger a New Year's resolution within the church to cut the propensity for celebrity and remain true to Christian core values. The stakes are getting higher and higher and I don't see how the old tactics of just sending a pastor to a church to tell that minister to stop whatever he's doing, it's not going to work anymore. I think because I realised that a lot of people have been harmed by the church and it's more important for me to, to speak out and, and be a voice for the voiceless. Miss Bosch has set up a Hillsong anti-exploitation group and has hundreds of signatures from former Bible college students calling for changes in its labour practices, which she plans to take to Parliament.